right back out again on some of these fields just for half an hour or so <coughs> first signal big brass copper chain or brass scrap box thank you right I'm back managed to catch up with my mate Paul he's been down in these bottom fields where they're spreading shit already uh, some nice cannonball bits have come off there and some nice snake buckles and stuff I believe Yes, just got a signal and I think it's a coin. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's an old one. It's an old if you have penny I think. Yeah. George. It's a coin though. Do me. Right, just got a deep signal and look at the size of that don't know what that is it's big though it's an horse brass my first one ah it's only through watching jed's videos i know what it is definitely it's got to be an horse brass yay right just got another signal and i've just realized i've just smacked it round the nose the cut in there look show you See a copper mark on it, you silly boy. The zoom. It's a big in as well. Ah. Don't know what you are. It's got a dent in the middle like it's a button. See? There's me scratch mark. Strange, but I'll have it. Thank you. Right, next find. Eyes only. Me fourth one off this field is a golf ball. Thank you. Right, I do believe we have another coin. There. Seeing the, the ball. Worn totally. I'll have a look when I get home. It's a coin though, and it looks old. Right, hello again, it's getting late. Uh, it's half eight. That rhyme now. Uh, just walking along this little patch here, and a coin. Everyone's been along here, and it's a penny. Yeah, I'll do. Looks 1900s, I think. Yeah, George Five. I'll do me, thank you. Right on that path again, about 50, 60 feet up. Just got a loud signal, and it is a buckle. Looks silvery. Nice, that's what I've hit it. I'll do. It's been silver plate, it's coming off. Yeah, flake there hanging off. Yeah. Right, onward we go. If we don't get back to you, I'll see you again soon. Right, hello. Uh, well, welcome to my midweek roundup. Uh, before I start, a big thanks to Paul, Mark, and obviously. It's a pleasure being with Chelsea as well, that'll detect them. Great day out. Right, just start off quickly. I'll keep it as short as possible. Got an un unidentified coin here, there, which is rotted. Then, just zoom in a bit. I think it's a button. Oh dear. There. Shank on the back. Then a nineteen fourteen penny. There. A buckle with silver gilding there. A 
then a bit of a lock possibly of a cabinet a big piece of copper or brass chain this one looks like part of possibly off an horse or something like that something to do with reins looks like silver plated he used to have a double loop which come off the end yeah this which I don't know I had a few of these then uh, 1891 Victoria of Penny I'll try and zoom in for you There, 1891. Then, my horse brass, I think it is. There's only one person who will identify this, which is Jed P. Savens. Not on the back, apart from a hole. Yeah. And, I've been figuring out what this mystery item is, which is like, hmm, a strange piece of metal. I think it's off uh, when you get like a three phase breaker, like a crab tree breaker with a big handle. This is one of the connecting brass rods, which basically when you turn it on and off, makes the connection. That's what I think it is. So there's my bits for the short hunt. I say, if you're out again this weekend, uh, happy hunting, take care and... Hope your next find is a good one. Bye for now. Oh, by the way, it's Friday. And you know what that means? As Jess says, he takes his family out for lunch. I'm going to have my tea. But here's a curry. There it is. My vegetable vindaloo. Which is steaming up the camera. And it's very hot. Bye for now.